One PFF analyst says Janoris Jenkins will be a good fit for the Detroit Lions. Who? Uh-huh. Hello, everyone. My name is Derek, and welcome back to Detroit Lions Syndicate. You already know what we do on this channel. We talk all things about your favorite team, the Detroit Lions. So make sure you join the syndicate by subscribing to the YouTube channel. Help us reach our goal of 5,000 by the beginning of the NFL season. And hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of every video. The Detroit Lions had a very tough time in the secondary last season. We lost Jeff Okuda the first game after we expected him to kind of come back and improve on that rookie season. Well, he goes out in that first game against the San Francisco 49ers, and from there, that point, it was all downhill from there. We wind up losing our uh, draft pick at the time, Ife Melifonwu. He went down with a hamstring injury, and one after another, we started to lose people in the secondary. It got so bad that we had Dean Marlowe out there who now plays for the Atlanta Falcons, and we had a guy that was out there the last game of the season, I don't even remember this dude's name. I would have to look it up. But I remember when he made a play, I was like, who is this dude? That is what had become of our depleted secondary. Well, one PFF analyst feels like Janoris Jenkins would be a good fit for the Detroit Lions. Doug Kide of Pro Football Focus has made a list of one trade or free agent acquisition for all 32 NFL teams before training camp starts. For the Lions, he went with Jenkins. The Lions have young cornerbacks with potential in Jeff Okuda, Jerry Jacobs, and Amani Aurorarie. But Okuda is coming off a torn Achilles, and Jacobs tore his ACL in December. Jenkins is still a solid starting cornerback at 33 years old. I don't know about starting solid cornerback, and I'm not sure that I would want to bring him here to be a starting cornerback. I mean, we have... Amani O, who's coming into his own, pretty much made a name for himself last year. And then we got Jeff Okuda, who has got a lot to prove to himself coming into this 2022 season. And according to him, he is going to put on a show for us this year. I don't think Janoris Jenkins is an upgrade over Amani. And at this point, would I have him on the team for depth? I would. I would sign him to a cheap deal to help out in the depth department because you can never have too much depth at any position we saw what happened last year so would i bring him here on a veteran deal of some type i would do i expect a lot from him absolutely not jenkins will be 34 years old in october and while not exactly watching the tape i don't know what he looked like out there but stat wise it wasn't that bad he played 14 games for a total of 49 tackles he had five pass deflections and one interception. Last year, Janoris played for the Tennessee Titans. The year before that, the New Orleans Saints. The year of 2019, he did not play. And 2018, he was playing for the New York Giants. That's the Janoris that I remember during his time with the New York Giants. So leave it in the comments below. Do you agree with Doug that the Detroit Lions should take a look at free agent cornerback Janoris Jenkins and potentially bring him in on a team-friendly deal? I don't have a problem with that as long as it's team friendly, because after seeing what happened to our secondary last year, we can use all the help we can get. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. If this is not your first time here, subscribe to the YouTube channel because YouTube is just going to keep sending me in front of you until you do so. Plus, you can help me out in reaching my goal of 5,000 subscribers by the time the NFL season kicks off. We have 73 days until the Lions take the field. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself. And as always, go Lions.